Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, I have an updated pantry organization video. We're gonna be organizing my small pantry with some thrifted lock and lock containers, making this budget friendly and realistic. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you never miss out on a new video. Now let's get at it and get it done. I wanted to show y'all a really quick before four of the pantry and my goal is to make the pantry organized realistic and functional I want it to also look aesthetic but I want to keep it realistic and usable because at the end of the day we're going to be using it and I want it to be fully functional So we're going to be organizing some stuff in some lock and locks today. Um, my mom ended up finding these on Marketplace and she got a really good deal. And we're going to be doing this a little bit different this time. Um, instead of washing all of them and then figuring out how we want to put the items, we went ahead and just kind of put sticky notes on everything to see how we want to organize everything. Um, that way, you know, if we don't need to use it, we don't have to wash those. But this is what we're thinking so far. Um, like we're gonna put brown sugar in this and then pancake mix in one of these, but that's how we're thinking of doing it. So the next step is gonna be to wash all of these and then we're gonna dry them, but there's some more over here. Um, we've already had that one, but there's some more over here. And then my mom went ahead and put um, some bacon stuff up here in one of these. And then this one I think is gonna be for I think we're gonna use this for cocoa powder or no that's powdered sugar but we're gonna do one for cocoa powder too i'm really excited to use these um, i'm not sure if they're actually salad bowls but that's what i'm gonna be using them for um, first of all i love this metallic pink color and then when you open it up um, it's got this divider in it so i'm gonna be using it like to prep salad so you can put your lettuce right here your proteins and you know everything else that you want to put on the salad and i think that's really neat to kind of keep it divided and then if you don't want to do that then you just lift this out um and then it becomes this and like i said i don't know if this is actually a salad bowl but that's what i'm going to be using it for i um, mean there's actually four of them so that works out really well um because there's four of us that lives here so you got my mom and my dad and then owen and myself so that worked out really nice but I think these will come in handy for like meal preps and stuff and also really think the color is fun and it's also different because I usually do stuff pretty neutral so sometimes it's nice to have a pop of color. Alrighty so off camera my mom washed the lock and locks and now I'm just letting them fully dry. Now I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the pantry so we can get all of this organized. I also wanted to take a minute to reintroduce myself. I have gained some new subscribers from my last front porch makeover video and I am so, so thankful and grateful for y'all and all of your support and I really appreciate it. For those of you that are new here, I wanted to say welcome. My name is Taylor and I am a divorced single mama to my son Owen and we live with my parents in a 1995 four bedroom, two bath mascot double wide mobile home in South Carolina out in the country. We have done some renovations over the years, but there is so much that we want to do. We have so many makeovers and renovations planned, and I am so excited to take y'all along with us and also get to know you all. I also post a lot of cleaning motivation, organization, and decluttering videos. Also, let me know what kind of content you like and what you would like to see. I wanted to say thank you again for all of your support. Make sure you leave a comment so I can say hello and get to know you all.
Okay, so I was gonna show y'all what we did. Um, we ended up labeling stuff prior to washing all of these and I just took pictures of them and then I just printed them off on my phone, but that way I can kinda remember how we're gonna do it. So we just labeled them with sticky notes and then I just took the picture of it, but this is what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I may have to switch a few things around, but this is pretty much how it's gonna be. So this is also a really good tip. That way um, you don't get confused when you're putting labels on things and you kind of already have a game plan so it helps you stay more organized. I'm laying down at the compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to doubt. I see you in the Cause this time I will choose you, yeah. Hi everybody, I am doing the labels today for Taylor. Hello. Okay, so I was gonna show y'all that we're gonna do it, let me get it to focus. We're gonna do it um, this way, so we're gonna do it on the lowercase letters. Um, I just kinda like the aesthetic of that a little bit more. And this is also a clear background of tape. So that's what the new labels are gonna look like and we're just using the label maker that I've had forever. Um, this is what they did look like before because we had had some lock and locks before, but it was in all caps and it was also the white background. So we're gonna be switching these out too. Okay, so since these are different brands, um, this is the Trader Joe's uh, Protein Pancakes, which we usually get this versus this one. We found that we like this one a little bit better. So I'm just gonna leave this one out. There's not much in there. So I'm just gonna leave it out, um, not pour it in there. That way we can use this one up. And then I'm just gonna put the same one, which is the Trader Joe's into the container. Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone 
Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh, but then you came and sat right now so right here what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut out the barcode and tape it to the container. The reason why I do this is because my mom and I are on a weight loss journey and we use the barcode to scan our food into the app. We were following the WW program which is Weight Watchers and we had great success with it. I had lost over 50 pounds and then I fell off track and gained most of the weight back. So I think I may try a different approach this time because it's time to get healthy and lose this excess weight. I've struggled with my weight my entire life and it's time to make a change. If you're interested in my weight loss journey, I had thought about creating separate content for that. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm off the subway leading nowhere. Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me. I heard you say that everything is alright. But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day. I was lost in space, but you So for these oatmeals, since we already did this, um, the last pantry organized video that we did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the barcode, but we're going to go ahead and make a new label with a lab label maker. So that way it just looks a little bit more aesthetic. I will always remember it. How you got me off the battleground. Fun fact about me is that I love Boston Terriers. This is Callie right here and she is just the sweetest. Boston Terriers are my favorite. They have such good personalities and they're the cutest. If you've made it this far to the video, leave a dog emoji below and let me know if you prefer dogs or cats.
all, I'm going to put in some before and after clips so you can see the transformation. I love how the pantry looks now and also how functional it is. Thank you all again for watching and for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button and also leave a comment so I can say hello. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.